Ashley, congratulations. You've competed in four key schools, but now you've eventually got your World Snooker Tour card. How good does that feel? Feels incredible, yeah. It still hasn't sunk in though yet. I can't, can't believe it. And um, did, did the fact that you, I mean, you were, you've been a pretty consistent performer in this event, that was shown by the fact that actually last year you got quite a lot of top-ups in tournaments on the World Snooker Tour last year. Did that kind of give you the experience going into this event and make you feel a bit more comfortable? Yeah, I think so, definitely. Um, obviously, it adds a bit of extra pressure because I've done well before. I want to keep doing well to further my career, but it, it is better experience. It is good experience, yeah. One of those events was the, the China Open qualifying last year where you had a really good win over an in-form Anthony Hamilton. Is, was that a result that really kind of gave you the inspiration to kick on and, and qualify? Yeah, I've been playing really well in practice ever since beating Anthony. Before that, I was struggling a bit, had some bad results. Um, but, yeah, that, that sort of gave me the springboard to keep playing well and do well here. And going into the, to this season, Barry Heron announced that to, uh, fees for events were, were scrapped. Does that kind of help players coming through and uh, make, make things easier? To... Yeah, definitely. It cuts the, cuts the price of playing on the tour by four or £5,000 a season, so that's a massive help. And it's not long until we, we get going with Riga, qualifying for Riga and the China Championship. What do you do between now and then? Is it a case of practising hard or kind of resting up after this? Yeah, I think I'll have a couple of days off now, see some friends and family, celebrate a bit and then back to the practice table. Well, best of luck. Thank you very much.